Hi there. Hey, it's good to see y'all today. And I was sitting around this morning and I was thinking, ah, two more weeks from today. Well, two weeks from yesterday is the beginning of Hippie Fest. Two weeks from today is Sunday. This is God's Day. So, hey, I, I'm so excited. Two weeks. To, uh, hope to see everybody there. And... Look for us, uh, our tent is going to be, I don't know, close to the bandstand, I believe, and it's a um, tie-dye, so let's get personal on it, and I've got some really neat stuff coming. So, um, let's still be excited about going to Hippie Fest in two weeks, and then um, let's get to God's Word. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this wonderful day that you have given us. And thank you for being so uplifting and so loving and kind to each and every one of us that we are your children. We should remember that in everything that we do, that we are yours. Be with us at your time. For in your son's name, amen. I'm going to go over to uh, 1 John 3rd chapter. Actually, it starts in the 11th verse. Um, and, and if you're having trouble finding that, if you just go to Revelation, go back one book, and then you'll find, well, two books, three. I forgot about John 2, 3. So um, you'll find this third verse, 11th, third chapter, 11th verse. I'm so excited about everything coming up that I just uh, losing my mind, I guess. So, here in the 11th verse in chapter 3, it talks, love one another. We've talked about this so much, and, you know, I can't, you know, enforce it enough, just trying to think of a word. Um, because the thing is, is, as a Christian, as a person that has a, a relationship with Christ, there is love. And so this is love one another. And it goes into quite a bit of detail. And um, we're going to look at it and read it today and try to absorb it. It says, this is a message you've heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Do not be like Cain who belonged to the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own actions were evil and his brother's was righteous. Do not be surprised, my brothers, if the world hates you. We're getting that all the time. And they're wanting to take Christ out of everything. We've got to stand firm. Since we know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Anyone who does not love remains in death. Wouldn't that be terrible to not love someone? Wow. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life in him. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us, for each and every one of us. And we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Dear children, let us not love with words or tongue, but with actions and in truth. This then is how we know that we belong to the truth and how we set our hearts at rest in his presence whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. We'll stop right there. Now, I hopefully I've explained this. I may have not. But whenever the Bible talks about your brothers, 
what it is talking about is your fellow believers in Christ. We are brothers in Christ, even sisters too. You know, I, I don't want to eliminate anybody. Um, if we see a brother in need, we're supposed to help. If we see a brother being sacrificed for something, we're supposed to step in. We are to take care of our brothers in Christ in everything we do. You know, been thinking of family. And, you know, people will lift up their family members. How much more is God going to lift us up by us being his children? pretty heavy it really is so the thing is is we need to love one another and every time I read about love in the Bible it just I get excited because love is what holds us together hate doesn't hate drives us apart we see it it says right here it says that we are, um, we know that we have passed from death to life. Do not be surprised if the world hates you. Look what's going on. They've taken prayer out of the church, out of the school. <laughs> They're about to take it out of the church too. But anything that is classified Christian, is on the blacklist. You can have other religions, I hate to do the quotation marks, but that are not Christ-based, but they are held high. We need to knock that out and surpass. That's what God's given us, His Word. That's what God's, God has given us his drive to bring Christ back in our everyday lives. It, you know, it, the feeling is so great. If you read in the Bible, it does not even say to hate your enemies. It says love your enemies. But the thing is, is if a brother turns away, we are to guide him back. I just all in a nutshell right there guys and Christ is love and he died for each and every one of us it's just like um, I, I quoted John 3 16 one time and somebody said now explain that and I said oh, easy and they said what do you mean I said, for God sent his son into the world. For God sent his son to me, to you, to save us. Me and you. It's not the world. It's each individual person. Take it. Read it. Know it's personal. Know it is coming to you. It's good. I want to close now with a prayer and then speak a little bit afterwards. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this message. Thank you for your word that comes and illustrates us what love really is, that we need to step up, love our brothers, love our sisters and everything that we do and back them when they are in trouble that we will succeed in your name for in your son's name amen two weeks remember that so i want you all to come in stop by even say you know thank you or or how you doing or i don't like you i don't care what but um love your brother <laughs> we'll see you guys later peace